What is the Tao Te Ching all about? What does it talk about? What benefits can the Tao Te Ching bring to modern individuals? How can the Tao Te Ching help us better understand and navigate our emotional landscape? Hello and welcome to Tao Te Ching Unveiled with me, your host, Echo East. Join me on an enlightening journey as we decode the ancient wisdom of the Tao Te Ching. Together, we'll explore its enigmatic teachings to cultivate spirituality and enhance our well-being. Join us on this expedition to inner peace and understanding, right here on our channel. Acknowledgements In the vast tapestry of ancient Chinese wisdom, numerous adept Taoist practitioners have bequeathed invaluable commentaries and elucidations on the Tao Te Ching. Modern scholars, in turn, have meticulously studied and interpreted these classical works. Over the past few decades, I have immersed myself in the writings of these scholars and had the privilege of delving into many outstanding English translations. I am deeply indebted to the countless contributors in both Chinese and English, spanning generations of predecessors and contemporary scholars alike. My heartfelt gratitude extends to the great souls dedicated to safeguarding the Tao and to all those who have contributed to this realm of knowledge. It is through the nourishment of your collective wisdom that I find myself tentatively equipped and confident enough to embark on the Tao Te Ching decoded lecture series today. Lecture 1. The Preface Part 1 of 2. The Tao Te Ching stands as a mysterious masterpiece, teeming with the quintessential wisdom of life. Throughout the ages, countless individuals from diverse backgrounds have endeavored to explore its pages, offering myriad interpretations and translations. Yet, only a select few have authentically unraveled its core truths, while others, unfortunately, dismiss it as repetitive and hypocritical. To truly imbibe the profound insights that Laozi offers, one must approach with an open heart and a willing spirit. Join me on an extraordinary journey to unlock the mysteries held within the Tao Te Ching. Together, we will pave a path toward spiritual enrichment and the enhancement of our overall well-being. Before we explore the original text of Tao Te Ching in depth, I have prepared a pair of introductory lectures designed to provide a complete understanding of this profound work, casting a particular spotlight on the most authentic version penned by Laozi himself, the authentic edition of Laozi's Tao Te Ching. The purpose of this introduction is not only to share my personal insights on studying the Tao Te Ching but also to highlight the profound wisdom one can harness from its teachings. It's important to realize that adopting an effective study method forms the key to unlock the true essence of Tao Te Ching, serving as an invaluable guide for both personal development and spiritual enlightenment. The Tao Te Ching, attributed to Laozi, is a vast, profound, difficult, and challenging text to understand, but it is also a very rewarding text. It is a text that can be studied and contemplated for a lifetime. The Tao Te Ching is a powerful and inspiring text that can help us to understand the true nature of reality and the path to enlightenment. Throughout its 2,500-year history, the Tao Te Ching has been passed down in numerous versions. As you may be aware, there are many different editions of the text available. The vast majority of commonly circulated versions are these three. 1. Laozi Tao Te Ching annotated by Wang Bi. 2. The Guidian Bamboo Slips of Laozi, unearthed in 1993 in Guidian, Hubei Province. 3. The Silk Manuscript, Laozi Wu Qian Yan unearthed in 1974 from the mausoleum at Mawangui in Hunan province. Regardless of the version, the core content of the Tao Te Ching remains largely the same. However, in my upcoming lectures, I am honored to present the Laozi, Zhenben, the authentic edition of Laozi's Tao Te Ching, a treasured tome held in the highest regard and often kept private within the Taoist community. This text is more than just a classical work, it is a revered manual that encapsulates the essence of Taoist wisdom serving as a sacred guide for followers in their pursuit of spiritual depth and integrity. This edition holds a unique mystique as perhaps the most enigmatic version of the Tao Te Ching known to date. Legend tells us that this particular version was clandestinely transmitted by the renowned Taoist sage Hao Hongjing, 456-536 CE, a figure celebrated for his contributions to Taoism, Chinese medicine, alchemy, and literature during the Southern Qi and Liang dynasties. This version was later refined by Sima Chengzhen, 647-735 CE, the esteemed 12th patriarch of the Shangqing school, during the flourishing era of the Tang dynasty. The Tao Te Ching is indeed a profound and influential work. Still, it is generally regarded as a work of philosophical and spiritual significance rather than a scientific text in the modern sense. But here I want to point out that the Tao Te Ching does not propagate religion or philosophy, but science. 
The Tao Te Ching is a book that teaches people the way of cultivating the Tao, the way of uniting with the Tao to achieve peace, happiness, and fulfillment. The study of the Tao Te Ching today holds profound significance, offering timeless wisdom and insightful guidance for individuals navigating the complexities of modern life. The Tao Te Ching provides a holistic framework for ethical living, invaluable insights into addressing contemporary challenges, and a deep understanding of peace, balance, and harmony. Its teachings resonate as a continual source of inspiration and guidance for those seeking a profound understanding of themselves and their place in the world. Before we dive in, let me give you a quick rundown of the Tao Te Ching. The Tao Te Ching, especially this version I'm going to introduce, is one of the true classics of the world of spiritual literature. It is a treasure trove of human wisdom that contains the highest insights into humanity, offering guidance to living in harmony with nature. By using concise and profound language Laozi discusses the Tao, heaven, earth, and humanity as well as the oneness in essence. The Tao Te Ching emphasizes the revelation of the deep truth behind superficial phenomena. It offers profound reflections on the universe, spirituality, life, human behavior, and principles of governance. The Tao Te Ching, often regarded as the foundational text of Taoism, stands as the most authoritative classic in the Taoist school of thought. Its language is concise yet profound, encompassing a vast array of disciplines, including spirituality, philosophy, ethics, political science, military strategy, and more. The content of the Tao Te Ching is expansive and enigmatic, embracing diverse perspectives and encompassing all aspects of existence. It offers insights and wisdom to individuals from all walks of life, including spiritual practitioners, ordinary people, national leaders, corporate managers, and countless others. Revered by later generations, the Tao Te Ching is a treasured compendium that guides governance, harmonizes families, promotes knowledge, and cultivates spirituality. Its timeless teachings continue to inspire and enlighten readers, providing profound insights into the nature of reality, the art of living, and the path to inner peace and harmony. As I said, this authentic rendition of Laozi's Tao Te Ching I am going to share with you is known as Laozi, Zhen Ben, a classical work of Tao Te Ching. It is preserved in high regard within the famous Quan Zhen sect Southern Ancestral Temple, called Tong Bai Gong, and it is revered as a vital and esoteric teaching in Taoist practice. The majority of commonly available versions of the Tao Te Ching in the market are typically standard editions, usually divided into two parts, the Tao Jing and the Te Jing. In most cases, the Tao Jing comes first followed by the Te Jing, while in some versions, the order is reversed, with the Te Jing preceding the Tao Jing. This version I am talking about stands apart from others due to its unique structure, which markedly diverges from the more familiar renditions. It is meticulously segmented into four distinct sections, which are called in Chinese, or simply in English, Tao section, Heaven section, Earth section, and Humanity section, each section comprising several diverse chapters. Here, I will first provide a brief introduction to each of these four sections, and later we will delve into each section in depth chapter by chapter to explore these contents. 1. Tao section. This section constitutes the core of the Tao Te Ching, delving into profound inquiries about the origin of the universe and all its entities, addressing the ultimate questions that have perpetually captivated human contemplation. Tao section unravels the nature and characteristics of the Tao, exploring how it manifests in the universe, and highlights the Tao's paradoxical qualities, omnipresent yet elusive, formless yet foundational. Tao section eloquently unveils the fundamental truth underlying the ceaseless cycle of creation and dissolution in the universe. It delves into the profound journey of all things as they emerge from the void into being, and then return from existence to the realm of nothingness. This section encapsulates the eternal rhythm of life and existence, from the formless to the formed and back to the formless. In this section, the teachings of the Tao are presented not just as philosophical concepts, but as practical guidelines for living in harmony with the universe. These teachings advocate a lifestyle marked by simplicity, non-action, or wu-wei, and a profound comprehension of the Tao's principles. By embracing these teachings, practitioners are guided towards a path of spiritual enlightenment, seeking to align their lives with the effortless and rhythmic flow of the universe. This alignment is not just a pursuit of personal tranquility but a journey towards understanding the interconnectedness of all things and the subtle dance of balance and harmony that governs the natural world. 2. Heaven Section offers a deep exploration into the concept of heaven in Chinese culture. Far more than just a physical realm, heaven is portrayed as a symbolic manifestation of the natural order, cosmic forces, and the celestial domain. This segment of the text intricately examines how heaven interacts with and exerts influence over earthly matters. 
it reveals to us law of heaven, which reduces the excessive and supplements the deficient, underscoring the continuous and dynamic interplay between heaven and earth. This cosmic dance profoundly affects human life and well-being. The section further illuminates the intrinsic bond between humanity and heaven, emphasizing the significance of living in harmony and attunement with the cosmic rhythms and patterns. It presents a vision where aligning with the law of heaven is not merely an aspiration but a pathway to a balanced and fulfilling existence. The teachings advocate for a deep understanding and respect for the wisdom of the universe and its guiding principles. This section is pivotal in articulating Taoist philosophy's focus on the interdependence of all things. It stresses the virtue of aligning human actions with the universal flow, suggesting that such alignment is crucial for achieving a state of balance and harmony with the greater order of the universe. Through this, the text invites reflection on the profound relationship between men and heaven, encouraging a respectful, mindful coexistence with the natural world. 3. Earth Section is a comprehensive exploration of the Earth, delving into the physical world and the realm of form. This section goes beyond the mere acknowledgement of the Earth's physical attributes, delving into the profound interconnectedness of all beings that inhabit this world. It illuminates the intricate cycles of life and death, emphasizing the natural flow and rhythm of existence. In this section, the Taoist principle of living in harmony with nature is vividly portrayed. It discusses how every element in nature, from the smallest grain of sand to the mightiest mountain, plays a crucial role in the balance of the earth. The text encourages an understanding and respect for these natural processes, advocating for a life that is grounded and rooted in the principles of nature. Furthermore, earth section sheds light on the human experience within the context of the earth. It suggests that true wisdom and peace come from embracing our place in the natural world, recognizing our own cycles and seasons. The chapters often highlight the importance of humility, patience, and respect for the environment, teaching that these virtues lead to a more fulfilling and balanced existence. In essence, this part of the text serves as a guide for living a life that is deeply connected to and respectful of the earth, encouraging a symbiotic relationship with the world around us. It's a reminder of our responsibility to care for our planet and a call to find stability and strength in the enduring qualities of the earth. 4. Humanity Section is a pivotal part of the text that focuses on the human condition, delving into aspects of morality and ethics. This section provides profound insights into the nature of human existence, examining the complexities and potentialities inherent in being human. It emphasizes the cultivation of virtue, not as a set of rigid rules, but as a fluid and intuitive understanding of right conduct that aligns with the natural order. In this section, the concepts of compassion, integrity, and humility are explored as essential qualities for ethical living. It discusses how these virtues contribute to personal development and societal harmony. The text also addresses the principles of just and harmonious living, advocating for an approach to life that balances personal desires with the greater good of the community. Moreover, Human section delves into the idea of self-cultivation as a path to achieving higher wisdom and a deeper connection with the Tao. It suggests that by refining one's character and actions, individuals can not only improve their own lives but also positively influence those around them. This part of the text often intertwines philosophical musings with practical advice, offering guidance on how to navigate the challenges of life while maintaining moral integrity and fostering a sense of collective well-being. Ultimately, Human section is a call to embrace a more conscious and thoughtful way of living, one that respects the interconnectedness of all beings and seeks to contribute to the flourishing of humanity in alignment with the Taoist principles of balance and harmony. Unlike commonly known editions, this lesser-known version of the Tao Te Ching stands out for its lucid structure, logical coherence, distinct levels, and profound depth, which render it more accessible to readers. It circumvents the perplexities of unclear hierarchy, disordered logic, and repetitive content often encountered in the study of more prevalent editions. It is believed that by delving into this version, readers will gain a more comprehensive and insightful understanding of the Tao Te Ching, leading to a deeper mastery of its teachings. This unique structural composition of the authentic edition of Laozi's Tao Te Ching invites readers to embark on a profound journey of exploration, immersing themselves deeply into particular aspects of its teachings. Through this immersive engagement, learners can attain a comprehensive and multifaceted understanding of its wide-ranging and profound insights. It is for this very reason that I have chosen to explore and elucidate this lesser-known manuscript of the Tao Te Ching, shedding light on its intricate layers and the rich wisdom it holds. About my lectures series Using my decades of studying the Tao Te Ching as a guide, I will create a series of lectures to help you to decode its wisdom and truths. This series is over 80 videos presented gradually. Each chapter will be featured in one dedicated video lecture, covering four aspects. 
1. Overview, providing a general overview before delving into a detailed analysis of each chapter to clearly delineate the central theme of each chapter to offer a comprehensive framework for understanding and contemplation. 2. Detailed interpretation, breaking down the content sentence by sentence, systematically analyzing each sentence within the chapter to unveil its profound meaning and significance. 3. Insights, concisely summarizing the valuable lessons and insights derived from an in-depth study of the chapter. 4. Quotes, compiling pertinent quotes from the chapter to encapsulate key ideas. 5. Lastly, I might also share some personal insights based on the content of each chapter. Through these facets of interpretation, I believe you will attain a profound understanding and mastery of each chapter. In today's session, I won't delve into the main text of the Tao Te Ching. Instead, I want to address three common questions, especially for foreign readers. 1. What is the Tao Te Ching all about? What does it talk about? 2. Is it a waste of time to learn this ancient text in today's scientific age? 3. What benefits can the Tao Te Ching bring to modern individuals? The first question and answer, what is the Tao Te Ching all about? What does it talk about? As previously highlighted, the Tao Te Ching stands as a reservoir of human wisdom, encapsulating the loftiest insights of our existence. It unfolds the verities of the universe and life, delving into the origins of all living entities and the governing principles of the cosmos. The Tao Te Ching undeniably serves as a cultural treasure trove, overflowing with profound wisdom. Its richness allows for diverse interpretations spanning the metaphysical and the tangible, the philosophical and the artistic, as well as applications to personal life and national governance. The Tao Te Ching is both profound and extensive, encompassing a vast spectrum of knowledge. Throughout history, ancient emperors esteemed it as the study of the inner sage and outer king, bestowing upon it the revered title of the king of myriad scriptures. A contemporary exploration of the Tao Te Ching serves as a guide for individuals seeking equilibrium in their psychological and spiritual realms. It fosters enhanced wisdom, improved interpersonal relationships, and facilitates sound decision-making in the face of challenges. Furthermore, the study significantly contributes to the maintenance of personal mental and physical well-being, playing an integral role in the pursuit of comprehensive development and a fulfilling life. Despite the wealth of commentaries and explanations available, many people still grapple with the challenge of reading, comprehending, and applying its teachings. Consequently, the Tao Te Ching is frequently misconstrued and relegated by some as impractical mysticism. Contrary to such notions, the Tao Te Ching serves as an elucidation of the truths governing the universe and the realities of life. It transcends religious dogma, superstition, or antiquated mystical philosophies. Instead, it stands as a work unveiling the universal truths and embodying the loftiest wisdom on earth. Its contemporary relevance is extraordinary, rendering the Tao Te Ching a truly transformative guide for modern individuals. Moreover, the Tao Te Ching imparts profound insights into fostering harmony between individuals and nature, individuals and society, and even contributes to the global pursuit of peace. Hence, it is our hope that everyone will value this opportunity for learning, engage in diligent study, approach it with heartfelt appreciation, and undoubtedly amass a wealth of wisdom while uncovering precious treasures in life. To sum up, the Tao Te Ching encapsulates invaluable values and life insights, including 1. The concept of the Tao. Central to the Tao Te Ching is the concept of the Tao, an ineffable and guiding principle that underlies and unifies the universe. It teaches that living in harmony with the Tao is the essence of wisdom and the key to a fulfilling life. 2. Cosmic Perspective presenting a unique outlook on the universe and humanity's place within it, prompting deep contemplation of the cosmos. 3. Observation of nature, utilizing metaphors and observations from nature to illuminate profound insights into natural laws and the essence of life. 4. Concept of time, contemplating time and encouraging individuals to live in the present moment, seeking peace and contentment. 5. Relativity and duality, the Tao Te Ching introduces the concept of yin and yang, illustrating how opposites are interconnected and interdependent in the natural world. It emphasizes the relative nature of things, that all qualities exist only through their opposites, such as beauty and ugliness, good and bad. 6. Flexibility and resilience, the text uses metaphors like water to illustrate the value of being soft and flexible yet strong and persistent. It teaches that the soft and yielding will overcome the hard and rigid. 7. Spiritual cultivation and personal growth, guiding individuals toward inner peace, tranquility, and the development of a clear and enlightened mind, encouraging the pursuit of spiritual elevation. 8. Ethical morality, furnishing principles for moral conduct, emphasizing concepts like compassion, humility, 
and selflessness. 9. Governance and leadership, offering sagacious counsel on leadership and management, advocating principles such as yielding to overcome rigidity and governing through non-interference. 10. Non-action, Wu Wei A significant principle in the Tao Te Ching is Wu Wei, which suggests action through inaction. It means to act naturally, without force or excessive effort, allowing things to unfold in their own way. 11. Balance and harmony, emphasizing the equilibrium of yin and yang and the harmonious integration of opposing forces in both individual and societal contexts. 12. Social relationships, teaching individuals to foster positive social relationships, emphasizing mutual benefit and interpersonal harmony. 13. Moral insight, facilitating profound insights into morality, distinguishing right from wrong, and encouraging discernment in moral matters. 14. Humility and compassion, humility is seen as a strength, and compassion is a central virtue. The Tao Te Ching advises rulers and individuals alike to be humble, gentle, and considerate of others. Undoubtedly, the Tao Te Ching stands as a universally acknowledged challenge in terms of both explanation and comprehension. The limitations of language make it particularly arduous to fully articulate the profound wisdom encapsulated within its verses, often transcending the capabilities of spoken expression alone. Consequently, delving into the Tao Te Ching necessitates a personal journey, one marked by experience, experimentation, and the validation of the wisdom embedded in its text. Rest assured, I encourage you to approach this study with dedication and unwavering focus. Be assured that I will guide you methodically through the Tao Te Ching, utilizing the techniques explained earlier to help you extract the most precious life wisdom it has to offer. The teachings of the Tao Te Ching not only harmonize with scientific principles but also surpass contemporary scientific comprehension. It doesn't fall within the realm of religious doctrine, superstition, matters of faith, or individual philosophical perspectives. Rather than ancient impractical mysticism, it stands as a tome unveiling the universal truths, representing the pinnacle of wisdom on earth. Importantly, it retains substantial practical value for humanity in the present day. We are committed to a systematic exploration of these concepts through more than 80 video lessons. Upon earnest completion of these lessons and persistent contemplation of their teachings, you will find astonishment in realizing that the wisdom encapsulated in the Tao Te Ching is entirely verifiable, experimentable, and examinable. Consequently, we confidently affirm that the Tao Te Ching stands as the crystallization of humanity's highest wisdom. However, we all know that the Tao Te Ching is the most challenging book in the world to explain and understand. The use of spoken language is extremely limited, making it difficult to fully express the wisdom conveyed by Laozi. Therefore, learning the Tao Te Ching requires personal exploration, experience, and validation of the wisdom behind the text. With this in mind, I hope everyone approaches the study with dedication and focuses on experiencing it firsthand. Well, there is no need to worry. I am here to guide you chapter by chapter into the Tao Te Ching by using the simplest and most understandable language to help you extract the most precious wisdom for life. Dear friends, Amidst the vibrant energy resonating throughout the universe, our world finds itself at a crucial juncture, grappling with unprecedented challenges that call for heightened awareness and resilience. To thrive in this transformative era, the key lies not in seeking external solutions but embarking on an internal journey, a journey guided by wisdom. In the face of external turbulence, it is crucial to nurture a serene and stable inner sanctuary. Approach the uncertainties of change with an open mind, and let wisdom, gratitude, and mindfulness be your steadfast companions. Seize the opportunity to explore your life's higher calling during this transformative period. Rather than resisting the inevitable waves of change, ride them with grace, using each experience as a stepping stone for learning and personal growth. On the other side of transformation lies the promise of personal development and the realization of profound values, all guided by the compass of wisdom. As the cosmos undergoes profound shifts, open your heart wide and draw strength from the deep reservoirs of peace and resilience within. By doing so, you not only enhance your personal well-being but also contribute positively to the collective consciousness of the universe. Embrace change with gratitude, cultivate mindfulness, and elevate your consciousness. Let this transformative phase be a collective ascent, guided by the wisdom that unlocks boundless potential within ourselves and fulfills the true essence of our existence. That's all for this lecture. In the next lecture, I will explain some very important concepts in Taoism, which are crucial for learning and understanding the Tao Te Ching. Only by comprehending and mastering these concepts can one truly learn and grasp the essence of the Tao Te Ching. I will also discuss the benefits of studying the Tao Te Ching in my next lecture. Thank you for watching.
If you found our content valuable, kindly subscribe, click the bell icon, and share it with your friends. Let the ancient wisdom infuse you with more life energy.